You can create new neural pathways in your brain until the day you die, which means you can literally hack your brain to keep learning new things and boosting your brain health. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the power of neuroplasticity and how to specifically leverage it through growth experiences. So stay till the end because your brain health is worth absorbing the knowledge. In case you're new here, I'm Sin Meyer, founder of Second Wind Movement and a life coach for older adults who are striving to live their best retirement life. And I'm super into neuroplasticity. From my time playing music in nursing homes and both my grandparents being touched by Alzheimer's at the end of life, and then after my dad had brain surgery in 2011, I took a deep dive into brain plasticity and went way deep into studying ways to improve your cognitive health. And I have found that the single biggest golden thread is tying your brain health back to growth and personal development. Almost as if you were a child, specifically for older adults who are transitioning into retirement, growth experiences and learning new things are extremely helpful for brain health. Because just as you exercise your body to stay physically fit, you need to exercise your brain to stay sharp. And just like with physical fitness, the best way to keep your mental faculties in peak condition is to use them and challenge them regularly. Which means for the aging population, it's super important, especially with all those stereotypes out there about how retirement is a time to only relax and settle down. It's that and also ramping up other fresh new experiences in life, engaging in activities that challenge you mentally. It's super important for successful aging. I'm gonna add to that another big layer that's nurturing your passions and excitements and your sense of purpose, which when you have clarity on this, the motivating factor behind getting yourself out there and moving is way more accessible and easier to do. By the way, we have a totally separate video for that because that's how important finding clarity is. And just in case you need help finding clarity, we have a free finding clarity workbook that I have available for you, which I will leave in the description in the link below this video, because that's how beneficial it is. In today's video, it's about explaining the neuroplasticity, which is your brain's ability to reorganize itself through your environment, behavior, thinking, and emotions. Basically, your brain can change its structure and function in response to your experience. And this malleable state is something that can happen as long as you live meaning you can impact changes in your brain forever. Up until Dr. Norman Doidge, a psychiatrist at the University of Toronto, researched the therapeutic potential of neuroplasticity, it was a popular belief that the brain was fixed and unchangeable. We now know that brain plasticity is a fluid thing that can be used for good to help treat conditions like multiple sclerosis, stroke, Parkinson's, and autism. And not to mention the big one, Alzheimer's. There's hope for curbing the impact of dementias. I'm not saying avoid or prevent Alzheimer's, but lessening the impact of the terrible disease. Where does neuroplasticity happen? According to researchers at the University of Alabama at Birmingham Department of Neurobiology, there are two major brain regions that have the ability to continually give birth to new neurons in adults. Your hippocampus, which is your hub for long-term and spatial memory, and your cerebellum, which is your hub for coordination and muscle memory. These four parts of your brain are responsible for most of your memory, the hippocampus and cerebellum being the two regions with the highest rate of neurogenesis. The reason why these two regions of your brain are important for neuroplasticity is because they're full of granule cell neurons, which have the highest rate of neurogenesis. There was an iconic study done on the neuroplasticity of London taxi cab drivers and bus drivers. So the bus drivers had measurably smaller hippocampuses from driving the same route every day versus the cabbies that relied on their brain to constantly navigate different daily routes. This means your behavior is everything when it comes to rewiring your brain to think consciously snapping your brain out of autopilot to make intentional value-based decisions 
is critical for successful aging. And one of the best ways to snap your brain out of this autopilot thinking, which most of us do for the majority of our time that we're awake, as in we make on average 35,000 decisions every day, which are mostly done subconsciously. The most effective way to snap into conscious thinking and decision making is to practice mindfulness. It's a buzzword for a reason. Well, several reasons, but in terms of your brain, it pulls you totally into the present moment, which is pulling you out of monkey or lizard brain thinking and into more aligned conscious thinking, which is why I'm such a huge fan of daily mindfulness as a practice. There are so many benefits. So whether it's meditating, exercising, walking in nature, journaling, or taking a hot bath, when you do this daily, your life is better. And you can use mindfulness to improve your aging process because it sets the foundation for conscious choices and conscious living, which you have control over. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, the way that you age is not dependent on your genes. It's a total myth that you're locked in by your genetics as far as how you age. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, 75% of the way that you age is in your control. And that means your environment, your lifestyle, and your behavior have more of an impact on the way that you age versus the 25% that are reliant on your genes. So if there's any one thing to take away from this video on neuroplasticity, it's that when it comes to your brain health and boosting your plasticity and neuroplasticity, your behavior is everything. This means that you can literally hack your brain by giving yourself new growth experiences, which are essentially new positive behaviors. Changing your behavior is arguably the one surefire way to harness the power of neuroplasticity. And as a life coach for older adults, I absolutely love this because it allows you to accomplish the goals and dreams that maybe once you thought were impossible during retirement. And it's amazing to see. Leveraging neuroplasticity removes the stereotype and that terrible habit of saying, I'm too old for that, which is my mission in life. All you need are the right tools and the right micro steps to guide your thinking pattern and your behavior. And then anything is possible. To recap today's takeaways, neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to reorganize itself through your environment, behavior, thinking, and emotions. The two regions in your brain that can give continuous new birth to neurons is the hippocampus and cerebellum. When it comes to increasing your neuroplasticity, your behavior is everything. Practicing mindfulness daily snaps your brain out of autopilot and into conscious decision making. And if you'd like to take a deep dive into how to increase your neuroplasticity, dig into our five corners of neuroplasticity. There's a PDF or you can watch the video version. Like with any of the resources that I mentioned in our videos, these will be linked in the description below this video. As always, if this video resonates with you, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Every comment that you make helps us do our job better of creating helpful content for older adults who are striving to be their best. So thank you so much for being here and for being proactive about your brain health. We need more people like you. I will see you in the next video.